Hey, Kentucky, welcome back. Time for a game of Big Deal, No Deal. Drew's been making fun of my shirt. It's yellow. It's a nice color for you this time. You look good in Lemon Starburst. Thank I like you it. Thank you very much. Shelby Wacker is here with us. Shelby, Hi. tell him you like the shirt. It's very nice for Easter. Thank Thanks you God. very much, Shelby. What's up first? <laughs> All right, Lexington Mayor Jim Gray's proposed budget includes money for 30 additional police officers. The first step toward creating a fourth police sector. Matt and Drew, is this a big deal or no deal? Uh, it's a big deal for the 30 new police officers, and I think it's good for the city. Crime uh, is down nationwide, but has been on the rise in Lexington, sort of bucking na nationwide trends. That's a bad thing. Uh, the population has grown. The police, office, uh, police department has it, so I think it's a good idea. I think good decision. And it's a very big deal because it's probably very expensive. Now, I'm not in the city's books. I don't know the budget, but I'd say it comes with a pretty big cost. But I do think the city needs it as well. I think the money they use to fill holes in the center of the city is they're being put to police, which is good. Because if you're not going to fill it, we might as well have someone to patrol that vacant area at some point of night. So nice job. Good decision. Big deal. What's next? The Shelby County Sheriff says there were no serious injuries after a turkey flew through the windshield of a car on I-64. And it's not the first time it's happened. Is this a big deal or no deal? Just so you know, we cover all the big stories on Hey Kentucky, including turkeys flying through windshields across Kentucky. People need to be aware. And people need to be aware. I have to say, uh, I didn't think it was a big deal, but you told me, Drew, that this has happened to someone you know. They were driving and a turkey went through the window? Yeah, we were, out, we were going to meet each other, and he said, hey, I'm going to be late. A turkey went through my windshield. I said, okay, seems like a terrible excuse. What are you really doing? He says, no, really, turkey through my windshield. I didn't really, I, like, I, do, how high do turkeys fly? I, I think you kind of scoop them up with the hood, and then they do the rollover. I don't know. I haven't done it yet. Well, apparently now the, the, the authorities and Drew's friends say that there are turkeys flying through windows. So be careful this Easter season. Watch for flying turkeys. What's Garden next? Drill. Harry Connick Jr. will sing the national anthem at the Kentucky, blah, Kentucky Derby next month. Matt, is this a big deal or no deal? The Kentucky Turkey Derby Turkey. is a big deal. Harry Connick Jr. has a show on this station. And I have to tell you, of all the television shows I've ever seen in my life, it's one of them, and I don't understand how it's on the air, but I'm happy it is, but I'm really happy for Harry Connick Jr. My hope is this triples the number of viewers for his show nationwide. I like it. Good for you, Harry Connick. Yeah, play nice. This is our colleague. We see I him at the it. Christmas party every year. He's but very nice. I saw Harry Connick did the Super Bowl, the World Series. This is just another uh, national anthem for him. Let me, women my mother's age... Harry Connick Jr. and Vince Gill are like the two, Vince like Gill. they could go, they're the Kate Uptons for that generation. They love it. Harry Connick Jr., my mom's going to be very happy that she's that you're there. Good luck. And your show, it's at 2 o'clock. Watch it every day. Go ahead. Louisville's fledgling pro soccer franchise has revealed plans for a state-of-the-art stadium in hopes of landing a major league club. Is this a big deal or no deal? It's a big deal. First of all, Louisville City Soccer is fun. For those of you watching on WBNA in Louisville, you should go. In Lexington, you should make the drive. Now, the stadium is in Butchertown, and for those of you that don't know Butchertown, it absolutely stinks. It's the smelliest part of town. It reeks, and I am amazed that they're putting this there because very few people want to smell any part of town like Butchertown, but... It's cool that they have their own stadium, and I think it'll be successful. And you're right about that experience. I've been to a couple games, and I was amazed by what I saw. I mean, the crowd was great. They really get into it. It's a fun thing. It is a lot of fun, and it's the one thing Kentucky and Louisville fans can do together. They even pick the colors. Red and blue make purple for that reason. I'm just telling you, when you go, if you haven't been to Butchertown lately, just hold your nose because it is not a pleasant experience. It's like a tannery. What's next? Last, contestants who spent a year fending for themselves in the Scottish wilderness as a part of a reality show left only to discover it had been off the air for seven months. Is this a big deal or no deal? I'm not sure anything could make me matter than if I were these people. So they went out in the woods because they thought they were on a reality show. Turns out the reality show, nobody watched, so it got canceled, but they left them in the woods. And for seven months, they went and lived by themselves with no one telling them none of this was going to be on TV. They're very mad about it. I think it's a big deal. I would be furious, Drew, if this happened to me. No, I'm scared. Are we on TV right now? Are we good? Are we still going? That's right. we, yeah, I don't understand how the message didn't get back to them. Did they not... Like, you got to send the tape Apparently back. Apparently, they didn't tell the camera crew because they stayed. I mean, all these people, you talk about wasting your life. One time, I, this true story, I got picked for a reality show. I didn't do it, but I later found out they filmed for four months and then never aired it. And so these people spent four months and they never did anything. I think that's the exact same feeling, but that one wasn't in the wilderness. So what are you going to do? Shelby, thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you so much. Appreciate you taking up for my shirt. When we come back, more breaking news about turkeys or whatever else is happening next on Hey Kentucky.